welcome back in this video we want to learn more about user defined function in the previous video we learned that what we have used here the variables that we have used here are called parameters and then those here are called arguments so another thing that we want to learn is this one here all these things here are called positional parameters and what we have here are positional arguments all right so when we are calling our function we have to make sure that the position in which we defined our variables that is the parameters correspond with the argument that we pass in so let's demonstrate that with example if we change this here and then we bring the age here that is the 30 all right or any number that we want at all then let's clear this one up and if we run this code right now you will get hello 30 you are john years old our code runs well but we are getting a semantic error that is error in meaning that's not what we want all right so always in positional argument in positional parameters you have to make sure that the argument that you are passing in corresponds with the parametric variables that is your parameters okay otherwise you will have a semantic error so all that matters in positional argument they require that the arguments are in proper position but we have something called keyword argument keyword argument free you from having to worry about correctly ordering your argument in the function call or in the function invoking all right so with keyword argument we can just use our variable here together with the value that we are passing in so instead of doing this we can just pass in age equals this and then here we pass in name equals john so if we do it this way then the other doesn't matter or the position doesn't matter since we have defined a to be this so if we run this we will get it correctly that hello the name will come and then you are age years old so let's run this and see we are getting correctly hello john you are 30 years old so keyword arguments are very important you can still use it even if the position are okay all right so we can say age is equal to let's say 25 so here we have the position to be all right but we are still using keyword arguments and then if we run this we are getting hello john you are 25 years old so for keyword arguments the position doesn't matter and then let's look at something called default values or default parameter values or just simply called default parameter for that you can define a value here in the function call that is you assign a value to the parameter so let's put let's say age equals let's say 10 here all right and then when we are calling our function we won't use age we won't pass in any age okay so let's say we just pass in the name equals john you can clear this up to make it only john and then if we run this code since we have passing a default parameter here all right we will still get an age you will get hello john you are 10 years old by the way it's not by force to use only john as our name you can change it when you are practicing it all right so if you run this code you will get hello john you are 10 years old but as soon as we pass in any age of our choice let's say 28 and we run this code the age that we pass in here that is the argument will override the default parameter value so if we run this we get hello john you are 28 years old so this means that the default parameter will only be executed if we don't pass in any argument for that particular parameter so using default parameter helps in reduce errors all right that is this function requires two arguments so if you remove this one and then here we don't use our default parameter and we run this code we will get an error because this function expects two arguments but we pass in one so let's run this and see we are getting an error greeting function mixing one required positional argument so if we put in any default parameter here then even if we run it and then we don't provide any argument for age here we won't receive any error before we end this video i want to talk to you about some important concepts how to make 
an argument optional all right so let's look at how we can do that let's write another function that function gets the full name of a user all right so let's say def then we name our function get full name as simple as that and then here the parameters will be f name that is for first name and then l name that is last name and lastly let's put in here middle name okay that is m name and don't forget your colon here and then here what we want to do is that we just want to extract the full name of the user so here we say full name we just defining another variable called full name all right so full name is equal to then we can define anything that we want so let's declare some f string here and then we say f name m name all right and then lastly l name so let's put in here let's greet the user so let's say hello then we can return full name here all right here we return full name as simple as that this is what we want to do at first so now let's call this function with three names there's a print then our function name is get full name and then we pass in any three names that we want that is a full name of anybody okay so we require the first name middle name and then the last name so let's say the first name is john and then the middle name is let's say bernard and then the last name is let's say boatin okay so let's run this code and see something let's see what we get you are getting hello john boatin bernard we were expecting that boatin will be our last name right but when we check how we defined our function that is the parameters here we have our first name first and then the last name in the middle and then our middle name last so when we pass these arguments here the interpreter is going to interpret this as this is the first name correspond with this and then bernard as the last name okay and then boatin as the middle name because that is how you can see here so if you want this to work correctly as you want it you can use the keyword argument that we just learned okay so we can make here to be f name all right equals this then we want bernard to be our let's say middle name okay and then we want button to be your last name in this way button will be interpreted as the last name when we call this so let's run this and see and we are getting button as our last name but if you remember not everyone has a middle name so how can we rewrite this function so that if the user doesn't have any middle name it will just print hello let's say john bernard that is the first name and then the uh, last name that is let's say john button okay so pause the video and then work around this use every knowledge that we have learned so far to see if you can make this work okay you just want the function to print only the first name and the last name if the user doesn't have any middle name and then if the person has a middle name then the full name will be the first name last name and then the middle name or the first name middle name and the last name so pause it and do it on your own if you are done you can check the solution otherwise i'm going ahead with the solution so with that in mind we can use conditional statement that is here we can say if middle name exists so we have to make sure that the middle name we give it a default value okay so let's assign let's say an empty string for the middle name okay so if the middle name is not empty that is if it evaluates to true we saw in the other previous videos that any empty data type evaluates to false it's a false value okay so if we actually pass in a middle value then the full name should be equals to this okay hello first name middle name and then last name else if there is no middle name that is if the middle name is an empty string that we have defined here then the full name should be equals to our first name and then last name only okay so our full name should be hello then our first name and then our last name so this is all that we want we are done with our code so with this in mind if we run this code and then we don't provide 
any middle name only the first name and then the last name is going to be printed so let's run this code and see we are getting the same thing hello john bernard watton but let's remove the middle name here and see something so remove the middle name right now and then we run this code we are getting hello john watton so only the last name and then the first name have been printed so this is how we can work around something like this it's very important to know concepts like this let's end here in the next video we are going to learn more about functions functions are very important it helps us to write our code once and then use it many times that we want that is code reuse okay so in the next video we will learn more about functions bye bye for now see you in the next video